universal justice. Balance scale, divine righteous judgment. Now I beat a black man time. Fuck if you trust this, you're gonna feel the positive vibe. Oh, we gon' bust quick. How do you feel if he has lies? Young black people need to learn who you are and understand why you're light skinned, brown, and dark. And always know where the sun get the heat to stay hot. Stand firm in your square and you never will stop. Rock out with your cock out and never drop out. You be the masters of subconscious. Archer builder, no doubt. You build a planet real fast. Archer smooth with no sound. You build a planet real fast. Archer smooth with no sound. Sons from sight, Katana swore me my car. I fast and meditate the farm and it's like we're all assimilate your fate along the brigade. You cannot go around me or through me to get to my father law, but he and I are one and the same. Now you see what must be done before you can be a universal architect. Yo, peace, 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 hey, peace, 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 peace. Yo, man, we up in the building, man. Peace to everybody, man. Peace to all of the people out there that's tuning in with us, man. All of the positive people. It's the God of Earth Hour podcast. Y'all know what it is, man. I appreciate y'all for bearing with me. Uh, we was having a, a few little tech issues, man, but we got them all. We got them all squared away. Um, so we all up in here, man. Me, me, my brother, I see. Uh, I got a super, a super, super special guest up in here with y'all, man. My great, my great big brother, man. Divine understanding, born the law, man. We in here to ready to rock it. Um, and we got, we got a good little, we got a good little science that we building on today, man. So. Uh, if you in the comments, man, no matter what channel you tuning on, tuning on with us, man. If you on Instagram, if you on YouTube, uh, make sure you show us some love in the comments, man. Uh, make sure you drop some questions, man, because we we about to go all, all the way through it. We got a real interesting subject today, you know, uh, a subject that people I don't, I don't want to say people is is it is um, almost like a hot button topic, right? Almost like something that's I don't want to say controversial, but to those that's not in depth and study, sometimes it's, it, it may not be the easiest concept uh, to understand, right? So, first and foremost, um, you know, you like like we always do when the gods come together, man. We 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 gonna go through it. I, for anybody who don't know me, if this your first time tuning in, uh, my name is Minister Freedom Allah, man. I'm, I'm one of the hosts from here in D Mecca, man, on the, the God on Earth Hour podcast. Uh, I see, man. You want to in, introduce yourself, man? You want to bring peace to everybody. Up? Peace, peace. My name is I see Allah. You know. I'm right here in D Mecca with the God Minister Freedom. And um I wanna say welcome to everybody. You know, you're welcome for a good show. You know, welcome to God Divine. You know Oh, I, you know I'm about to bring that you know for anybody who don't know you even though uh they definitely do. Peace God. Uh, peace, peace, peace. Um, you know, wisdom understanding, wisdom knowledge. Who's the founder of of like an air like repels? You know, I, I wanna open it like that with Word. I you like know, that. the universe and all that, right? So divine understanding, born alive, you know. I'm here. I know that's Peace right. Peace, God. God. <laughs> Peace to the God, Peace man. To the God. It's a pleasure to have you, man. Welcome, God. Welcome, Welcome man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've been, I've been looking at you. I've been begging and looking forward to, you know, getting some time to get you on here, man, for a minute, God. So it's definitely, uh, yeah, you it's know, definitely a pleasure. Yeah, you know, I got that justice. I trying to get that. Yeah. Like the nine o'clock five, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but look, man, we're going we to jump right into it. Like you said, to be, you know, wisdom, knowledge today is mathematics. When you, when you wise with your knowledge, man, that's able to be, be able to, you know, do, do the knowledge. You know when, when to speak, when not to speak. Those with knowledge know some knowledge ain't for everybody. Some knowledge is, is, is for the right people and, and how, uh, truth that's out of season will never prosper, man. So being wise with your knowledge, be wise with what you got, man. So that that's how I I, um, I can see that, man. Peace to everybody in the chat, man. Getting some pieces in there for you. Peace, uh, peace. I see anything you want to add on to that guy, onto the math, before we go right into the subject. Well, you know, today not today's mathematics being wisdom knowledge, dealing with the fact that wisdom is to show and knowledge is to know. So just to keep it simple, you got to show what you know. You know, that will be manifesting your knowledge. That's today's mathematics. You know, we're going to keep it simple. Show mm. what you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. I got to give you the hit the horn for that. Peace to the God, man. I like that. Um, God, anything you want to you wanna add on to that, man, before we keep before I, we go yeah, to talk? Original, original man, right, who was assigned by the name of Yaku. 
born 20 miles outside the holy city of Mecca in the year 8,400. That's when we see the breakover point from that point to the next point, and then you got it. Because the first break is from there to 9,000. And then the next hit from 9,000 to 15,000. And then the next hit from 15,000, 15,000, oh, 16, 15,000, oh, 20. The next bing, the next big hit is 15,000, oh, 50, then 15,000, oh, 55. So from there, you can make any calculation that you need to make, up or down. You can go back uh, from 24,000 um, cycle, just the 24th cycle in the first degree, uh, who made the Holy Quran or Bible, right? So each Holy Quran or Bible is really like the 12 Jews or the constellations because it's a 25,000 year. 2,083.33 years per constellation for the sun, up to 2,160, depending on the equinox and the precision and things of that nature. But you get the point that I'm making is Indeed. that when they traveling through each constellation and we traveling through each 2,000 year hit, then you hit the 25,000 years or 24,000 years in 96 years. We collecting that together to make a 25,000 year cycle. And so in there, that's why you see we only had 15. We had 15 inside of that 25,000. I mean, this is the 24th cycle. This isn't like something that isn't sitting right, right there in the first degree in the winter tank. Now, it might not be as plain, but it says thus. Every time his history lasts 25,000 years, he renews it for another 25,000 years. That's, I didn't say that, Elijah. I, I know that's right, God. I, I, I man, you, <laughs> you went. I, I should have had you on here last week. We was talk last episode. We was talking about the twenty five thousand year history. I said, man, the God went all over the. We went to the moon and back on there. <laughs> oh, that boy, I can see that. But boy, you Peace know, you, you're talking about Yaku, and you right. automatically put it going to the calendar, right? True indeed, true indeed, God. Well, well, and it, what I what, what I always say, God, to people, because you know I always get that, and you know I did the whole little thing, the whole little de a couple little debates about it about Yakub and just the science. What I always say is that not only do we have the archaeological evidence and the science and evidence from other cultures, and you, you you have the genetic evidence, the biological evidence. You know the 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 evidence down to the very molecular level um, that supports the teachings, and that you know the, the the European or the Caucasian race. This is somebody that this is something that is a completely isolated population. And them some of the things um, that we want to go through. And I got a couple, um, you know, a couple little points that I was gonna share. I see anything you want you want you want to add on to add on to that. So you know, and, and, and just like you said, God, not only going into the calendar. But you got a but you got a whole lot of ways, God, and that's what we want. That's what I wanted to uh, 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 build on. Now, in terms of the genetic evidence, God, because we know the lessons say that that they that they the, the colored man is grafted. What would you what would you what would you say to that point in in terms of like how do you show and prove a grafted man? That's me or the God? No, 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 no. You, you, God, you, Devon. Oh, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Uh, you, I, I'm, I'm not sh exactly sure what you mean and how do I show me, me, he's a me, grafted me, man? I, I wouldn't say show a grafted man, but I mean just you mean like, like how would you like prove this, this, that he came from us and we didn't come from him? Absolutely. <laughs> I know that's right. That would be easy to prove. Yeah, that's easy to prove because he can't absorb you, but you can absorb him. You know that if... And we don't have to do an experiment on it. Experiments have already been done. They made a law called miscegenation and amalgamation. They made that rule up because European children, when they're born, when all babies are born, right, they're naked. So, you know, it's not it's different to look at a baby naked than it is a grown person naked. They have the shame of themselves. 
Babies don't have the shame of themselves. And people, when they're looking at babies, don't feel the shame of themselves from looking at a baby. But what you can see is all of the features. And so the first thing you'll notice is that all of the children on earth, except the Europeans' children, well, I should put it the other way, it's easier to see it. The European children will be the only children with pink nipples and pink genitalia, and everybody else will have some kind of shade. That's what I mean to say. And so when you start looking at things like that, you start looking at the albinos versus, I don't know, do they have something that's equal to us making an albino besides if they made an albino? They don't make the opposite of an albino, do they? Have you ever seen them make a jet black one? <laughs> oh, because shit. to do the opposite. Damn. Wouldn't they have to see and do that? If we can make that. <laughs> I'm just wondering. <laughs> see, these are little questions that after you got the wisdom built to the 40 degrees, well, it could have been the 88 degree, too, if you were going to 120, but... I just don't use it that way once I saw that everybody didn't have it the same way. But Bourne told me, and so did um, Original, and then they said, nah, but we should all catch up with each other by the time we hit um, um, what makes rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes. So if we all catch up with each other by the time we hit what makes rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes, then 88 and 28 would be the same which would also be man, M-A-N, I mean, if you went there. But anyway, the point I'm making is there's nurses cremated. There's cremated still. There's doctors. Are you telling me that these doctors today ain't kind of practicing that? Wisdom build a story degree. They not. They seem to be mm. doing that now. Only those who know one twenty would be saying yes, they are. Right. And that's why we say yes, they are. But even the unconscious could say, "You're telling me that your doctor, and that's the ones who know your doctor. Today's doctors are petroleum based." and not holistic base. Mm. They're pharmaceutical base, which makes them, um, this what they see as the symptom, they go at that. And then when they do, from there, I'm going to take you where I want you to see what I'm talking about. So when you go from there to the pharmaceuticals, it automatically makes you go into the food. And when you see agriculture, you start seeing the grafting process, the why they like to graft things like they graft it. Mm, true indeed, God. Don't no doubt. I could, I, I, I could definitely see that, God. And you know, that's why one thing, one thing that I always think about, like I was talking about, is not only, not only being able to see them in the real world, being able to see it all, being able to see that, si that same science, uh, because I think the original man. In his own way, you know, all around the world wrote on a, in a, in a history uh, what had happened and what was the science. You know what I'm saying? And in, in, in the history of the origin of uh, the origin of, the, uh, of of this other man. You know what I'm saying? Like where you get um, Sheikh Etta Diop, he go power. Sheikh Etta Diop talked about in his book um, about what the people of Kemet talked about, where they spoke about the top, the Tamahu. Or the time it, man. Let me see if I can share that. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you can see it. You can see the. Uh, <clears throat> where I'm at. Yeah, you, fam you familiar with that God? The, the Tamahu yeah, in the uh, in, in ancient Kemetic uh, hieroglyphs. Well, not not the hier yeah the hieroglyphics. Yeah, here it goes. So the metal netter. And, and Shanka to Diop said in the valley of Bedan El Mulak in Thebes. It, he, he was quoted saying, thus we have before our eyes the image of the various races known to the Egyptians. The shepherd belonged to the four distinct races. The first one closest to God has a dark red color. The legend disintegrates the species uh, right in Nairon, 
Um, but it's a, it's a specific point. I'm gonna go down a little bit further in the paragraph where it talk about a white skinned man, no straight, blue eyes, blonde or reddish hair, slender and clad in hairier skin and very savage tattooed on various parts of his body. He called he is called the Tamahu. And this is from uh Shank to Diop, the origin of civilization, myth, the reality. You got a picture? Um, you what? got a picture of the reliefs? Oh, where, the, they show, where they show the four minutes? Yeah. Yeah, right this there. picture right here? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So remember this was this was from um this was from this 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 brother here. He when he wrote a letter, he actually took this from that that inscription from, from Thebes. And, you know, he described that same thing that Sheikh Gata Diab described. Well, she was talking about the Tama. Well, this was the four people that they described, the Tama. Right, and the fourth man was the Tama who. Yeah, what about this. that book? Um, it's talking about the cave, man. I can't remember the name. I see. Anything you want to oh, add, on, add on to that guy, to what we was going through? No. Yeah, it is this book. Go ahead, God. You talking to me? No, oh, no, 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 no. Well, I thought, I thought you was finna uh, mention the name of the book. But, however, in regards to that, you know that that. I'm getting ready to look over here and tell you what it is. Right, but you know, but in regards to that, that's one of the things that I always saw that drew a parallel to the whole science of uh, Yakub and his made man. You know, in um, mm. in, in, in the ancient writings. Hmm. And, and and even and even that's where I that's where I was going, God. Just in terms of like you said, the ancient, other ancient writings, man. Because I, I I think the science is uh to understand. Even um, John Bright in his book A History of Israel, you know he quote he quote a uh, Mesopotamian text from the 18th century called the Shangar Bazaar, and I'm I'm gonna show that text here in a little bit, where he called yeah. the name of the the Hyksos chief. The, or, the, or the white devils, the Typhoonians. And the leader of the Hyksos, right. he named them, he called them El Yaku. Yeah. All right. You know, just to add on to that, which really that's not what I really use okay. when I blow their ass out of the frame. But I mean that Iceman inheritance, prehistoric sources of Western man's racism, sexism, and aggression. Yeah. That's a good one if you want to go there. Yeah, we, we, and and it has a, it, it has a uh, introduction by John Henry Clark. Now you can go that way with the academia and whatever the case may be. But what I use is what's going on to us as a people. Simple little easy shit to figure out if that's the devil or not. Because see, at the end of the day. You grafted ass, you ain't grafted, whatever. You're arguing back and forth, y'all cool, but you're trying to get off the subject that he grafted as the devil. See, get off, don't like I wasn't grafted. You see what I'm saying? So now, once we figure out he was grafted into what? Devil. We don't even need to go to wisdom, Bill. We could have just stayed in wisdom and wore his ass out right there. Because he can't prove to nobody on the planet that he ain't the aggressor in every form and fashion, on every level. Okay, watch this. Let me show you. We can go to something simple like if you was Emmett Till, and at that moment when they went down and Emmett Till's family and them Europeans ran all up in their house and everything, you didn't think they thought, even if they was mystery god worshippers, they still said, them devils took my baby and killed them. All right, there's one hit. Tulsa, Oklahoma. They was dropping grenades and the bombs from the air on them people. You didn't think they thought that hell came from the lady said she said hell didn't come from underground. It came from the sky above and it was white the going hell down on us. And she was like eight years old. She wrote it in her diary. So is, that's a Martin hell. You can see definitely is the devil. Uh, nobody on earth ever, nobody on the whole planet did what he did to Lamb's Wool. See, if we just use as what he did to Lamb's Wool in the 50 states, that's, that's even, that just shows you how he's living. But 
throughout the planet, from Tropic of Capricorn to the Tropic of Cancer, and the whole equator going through the whole equator, you don't see no one do to them what he did to them. There's another good way of doing it. Uh, you could tell he's old grafter because you see he'd be grafting things right now and he's a cloner and he likes to clone and he separates things and he puts things together that wasn't supposed to be there and read the 600 year process. He's doing all of that now. Mm. So if you read the 600 year process, too much to say about it right now, but the whole thing, whether it's allegorical or not, whether it's scientifically can be proven today or it can't be. Mm, this is what I would say to that. I can take you to scientific laboratories right now and the shit that they're doing in there. If they could do that, these are the devils doing it now. Cause we won't see none of y'all in there. And when It'd you, be nice and quiet and, in there. And God, when, you, mean, when, when you say scientific laboratory, what you, what you mean like the whole science of how you only got white white lab. So they're mice. splitting cell ways to extract melanin from us, and you voluntarily let them do it. And they trying to figure out that kind of stuff. Um, there's so much cloning and and um, and um, test tube baby, and they say it's test tube, but it's not really a test tube. Is what they're doing is they put that because they're doing it in the lab, putting sperm and say L A together. It doesn't work good on species at our genetic level, but down lower down the genetic scale, especially at the plant level, it's easy to do. You can look at einkorn, and then you look at wheat, and it went from 14 chromosomes to 48. They did that. They put animal DNA in with plant DNA, and it's alive now. It's still those plants. So they could do all of that, right? You've seen them breed dogs. Or if you leave dogs alone, there won't be no more than what they call breed dogs. Mm. They'll go away. Dogs don't fuck each other that way. That's not how they make procreation. So... It's all over society for you to see it. Look, they grasped them. They couldn't grasp. They couldn't grasp the way Yaku did to us. They didn't know how to do that that well. But, <clears throat> so what did they do? They grasped all of the knowledge of self right out of us. Even us who got knowledge of self right now, we still kind of think from left to right because we speak English very well. The only thing that's saving us is we got 120 in mathematics and alphabets. And it fixes that convolution that, that makes you go left to right. And now you're fixed. So all these things to me show me who the devil is. And history will show us too. Like you said, if we go back in history and we read those books like J. Rogers, Sex and Races, Volume 1, 2, and 3, he tells you all of those different stories that the Africans had for the European. Everybody had a story for him and, you know, with, where he came from. Up no, to today. I, 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 absolutely, God, as well as, uh, you know, that's the one thing that I was about to say that I was sitting here thinking about God was, uh, you know, when you go to, you know, the genetic evidence, God, and the point that, you know, you know, it, it, as well as a few other points that I had mentioned that I was going to go to, you know, where you see the, even the Sumerians talk about a man who's going to create a savage man. You know, that's that's something that's in the, in the, in the Enuma Elise. Um, what was I going, though? It was something else that I was looking to pull up. Yeah. So we go to genetics, Scott, and we deal with... No, what, what that? That one you just said. What's that? Which one? Which one? The one from the Enuma Elise? Yeah, you said he said he's gonna make a man. I don't know that. Yeah, what? yeah. So in uh, J. B. Pritchard in, in his book, The Ancient Near East, on um, oh yeah, he gotta make sure they he know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he in tablet um, four of the Enuma Elise, um, it's, he, where he was quoted was saying, "Behold, I will cause bones to be." 
I will establish a savage man shall be his name and verily savage man I will create the way of the gods I will artfully alter you know so I just seen that God that's that's a, that's a, the enumerate lease is like a um, a a tablet uh, I don't want to say almost you know they caught they try to make it seem like it's almost like a, a mythology however it's where most people um, attribute the Sumer creation story or you know an early text of like creation and understanding of the rest of the world so you know for me it's, it's just another okay. example of just dealing with uh you know that same that same science so you know it well was, you know uh the variety of fiction has a lot of information yeah, on yeah, that area well and the, and, the, and where else i was going to go to we talked about earlier from that 18th century text in the Shangri 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 Bazaar in Upper that's Upper Mesopotamia, and this is something me and I see went about. But on on the, it was a cartouche, right, with the name of the Hyksos chief, and the name of that place as well as that chief was Yakub R. Right, mm -hmm. and this is a, this was on the 15th century list of Thutmose the Thutmose the third. And God, can you? I see you was the one who kind of built on. The science of a cartouche. What is that? What exactly is a cartouche, God? If your name is on a cartouche, well, what exactly does that 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 make you? From my understanding, and you know, I could be corrected if I'm wrong. However, from my understanding, a cartouche, a uh, 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 individual's name that is in a cartouche is always a pharaoh. Only a pharaoh's name will be in a cartouche. From my understanding, True, you know, that's when you're dealing with the, uh, you know, the comedic uh, metal netter and the hieroglyphics and whatnot. Yeah, no doubt. So definitely somebody important. It wouldn't yeah. be no common person. Right. No, nah, it definitely, it definitely. Priest won't. could have been on there too. Okay. Okay. Meaning on the on the on uh, the cartouche. Yeah, priest royalty in that area where they might have been a direct line with the father who, who I don't know if we if we're using the right term when we say pharaoh or whatever well, so well, here, that's right, a bad here, term right. we get the point right, 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 right. Where I, where I we know what we thought right we getting the point like it ain't really a pyramid it ain't really Egypt well, well, <laughs> we know what we talk well right. I was going I just don't want the people that think that we don't know that too like we know that part too exactly. no absolutely and where, where, where right. i was going was that this was the name of the the god of the hyksos right this was who the hyksos said was they god if you know during this time of egypt the time of thutmose the third that's when the hyksos and the hittites ruled kemet right so the Hyksos invaded Egypt in 1675 BC. They were said to be a, bar a group of barbaric white Asiatics. Yeah. They were called the Typhoonians. So they um, had, or they Dr. God, ben. was written in the cartouche. Dr. Ben. Peace, God. No, um, no, no, no. His book, Dr. Ben, he talks about that and so does... Uh... I know Ivan Van Sertimer is mostly on this side, but who's the other guy? Dr. Henry Clark. John Henry he, Clark. Um, Clark. Yeah, John Henry Clark um, explained the hycosis and the invasion of what they call Egypt today, which yeah. was Kemet then, and which could have been Ty Mary. And, yeah. Um, I, Hey, so if you really wanted to get in depth in that part of it, I would get uh, Black Man Denial and his family. Mm. And it would still make me get J.A. Rogers, Sex and Races, Volume 1, yeah. 2, and 3, because Ooh, by him yeah. going into uh, procreation of the people on the planet, it, it it shows you the gravitation process and why they're afraid. Uh, you, you know, another book I uh, I found very valuable in my uh, trials and tribulations and the journey of going through you know uh, studies in history. Um, Count Varney, uh, Ruins of Empires. 
Oh, no, that one. That should be shining, too. Make oh, sure yeah. you get that. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah, See, that's what I'm saying. When each one teach one, exchange the information. It's so much information in our favor because it's the truth that we all won't have gotten it all by ourselves. No doubt. No doubt. But you would have got these books. I would have got these books. The point that we put it all. And God, so you, 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 you said one more before you said the J.A. Rogers book, God, because I'm pulling up the pictures so I can share them. Um, before you said the J.A. Rogers book, God. I got the J.A. Rogers um, section raised um, by one Black of Man in the and his family. Mm, yeah, that was a nice By one. Dr. Ben. That's a nice, good one. Yeah, okay. Um, for that particular subject, that just wipes them out. If you could find the textbook one that back in the day, they, but if not, get the little short no, blue one. No, Doctor. From my understanding, and I think the, uh, Dr. Ben was teaching classes here in DMECA back in the day. You know, a lot of uh, elders here in DMECA, you know, was, was uh, in his classes. Yeah, the only problem with Pan-African, Egyptology, Kemetology, Time Mary, um, they don't be having no dietary war. That's what fucks them up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, they be hella... Damn. That's my word. Oh, and they be hella smart when they come to eat. Uh, but damn. <laughs> they don't, because they don't have a dietary law, Ooh, it doesn't make shit. them take on because they don't know everything about the religion and the culture damn. of Egypt, but they don't be doing it. Mm -hmm. They don't be worshiping those gods who they be worshiping. Mm. They say they ain't down with white Jesus no more. So who are they down with? Why they still eat like Christians? Damn. Explain it. I'm going to tell you why. Because on the DL, they still be Jesus. They don't know what else to pick. They ain't picking Egypt. They not. They don't have the feeling. The world count, The world's consciousness is not worse than those gods anymore. The world's consciousness is still worshiping. The Hindus still got their gods going down. They almost lost all their shit. They still got them. The Chinese coaches and all of them, they still got theirs. The Japanese don't really got theirs. They almost invaded totally with Christianity. Hey, God. China got a lot of Christianity too. God, yes. God, really quick, God, I don't mean I don't mean I didn't want to cut your wisdom. I want to take a few of these no, questions. No, I want to take a few of these <clears throat> questions, God, before they get back. Oh, do up, that. Because they they getting up. They getting up in there, man. So I want to make sure I I answer everybody's question, man. Hold on, let me let me get some of these questions out the way for y'all really quick. Hold on, hold on, really quick, God, and uh, you could be you could more be more than happy to add on to them. So right. this is a now, bunch of them on YouTube. Yeah, let me go through. Let me go through. Uh, go through. Nah, with the nah, 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 nah. I think those was on Facebook. Oh, uh, the book that you spread and that you mentioned, the Enuma Elise. How do you spell that? Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna pull it back up for you. That's the uh, E N U M A. And uh, what is it? Uh, e L I S. The Enuma Elise. Yeah. It's a E L I S. E N U M A, E L I S H. H. Uh, that's okay. in that's in tablet four. Of the Enuma Elise, and that that comes from J. B. Pritchard's book, uh, 1958, The Ancient Near East, Princeton University Press, page 36. And that that, that might be in, in, that's a particular, you know, um, version of it. However, yeah. that's a that's an ancient that's scripture. That's an ancient tablet. Yeah, that's yeah. an ancient scripture. Yeah, Trun D. Word, word, mm -hmm. word. Say you got it. Um, a lot of those. Uh, yeah, they do. I agree with that. Prince Adonis said a lot of those great authors say that migration in the way of color or shade changes instead of the Yakub theory. I agree with you. That's what uh, John Henry Clark as well as Dr. Ben. Uh, God, what do you what do you say to that, Devon? Devon, you know, to brothers What's who that? say because that that was that was Fam's uh, that was Fam's little argument to us um, that uh, uh, that oh what do you, what, you know 
natural selection or uh, uh, albinoism or what they call algamation. You know what I'm saying? Like I've heard, uh, I can't remember the brother's name, but I've heard uh, John Henry Clark go through that, that the Europeans come from the people who were called the Grimaldi who who migrated into Europe and then because of the the place that they were in, they you developed know, these unique features. Cool grass, huh? See, what they be forgetting is they be becoming absolute because they've been taught by the devil so long, they only think it could be one thing that happened. No, dumbass. That's not how nature works. <laughs> if, if albinos could be made now, albinos was made before he grafted anything. How you think he goddamn knew he could do it? He already saw it being ha- It was happening already. Mm. We've been making them 16 shades of black, 8 shades of brown, 8 shades of yellow without anything happening. You got that? Just you. Without the brown and the yellow seeds. They came from you, too, before Yaku. Go anywhere in the world, and, and you see they be hiding us. China be hiding us. Even little old Puerto Rico be hiding us. And I go in the middle, you see the ones that look like Frankie. They look like the guard right there. He, he matter him and Frankie don't look that far from each other. Uh, so I, I do got I do got a question for you, God, in the chat. Uh, say I would like to know if the guest agrees with the theory of evolution by natural selection. Why or why not? Well, when I look at evolution, I automatically think of the devil. Mm-hmm. You can't get to evolution without that European racist Darwin, and now. See, that's when you got to look at not just what they write and say and get caught up in the magic with the memes and all that shit that they made back then because it's all a bunch of pictures. They can't show you no hard evidence. It's always a story in between and everything. So, no, I don't agree with it. But uh, the reason, like I said, is read about Darwin. When I went to college, we studied it too. And we would get to a point. And we and you can't prove it. It's a theory. It's proved that evolution selective theory because if you look at the excavations and the uh, I want to say the striata and each layer of time on the earth. And I don't see a real distinction. Some animals were there that ain't there anymore, and some animals are gone that were there. But there's no point where you see something growing and turning into something else. Now, let's start with the next part. If what they're saying is true, and that there is evolution in the selective, based on their theory, you're the closest one to the monkey. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so if you think that shit real Then you hold a bastard And they right then right. <laughs> Cause look at what they say you, you, either, you either came out of a lemur I'm giving it to you real Now go into Gutenheim In them schools right there in Germany They teach that In them anthropology schools When they leave when they leave the lemur stage or the ape stage, depending on which kind of Negro you are, because <laughs> the lemur ones are smaller and supposed to be a little smarter, and then the bigger ones, the apes and gorillas. You've seen the planet of the apes. Mm. No, no, no. Don't you see the hierarchy, the, the orangutan and the <laughs> and the, uh, the chimpanzee? You don't think they got you straight up in that line with the motherfucking when it go to evolution? That's what the fuck it looks like. When you look at the tree. Right. You see them? They go, monkey, you look at it. And then finally they stand up in a man, right? Okay, now, look at the ones back. Go back. Do you, don't you, you know, don't you see how they say they're the more human? Because you're the one closest to the monkey. And yeah, that, that shows Yakub again. They'll admit then they came out of you. Because the evolution people be killing them because they be saying that it's evolution selective thing, da 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 da. They can't prove that we wasn't before them because evolution will still say we was before them. So, yeah, 
is to go monkey and go to man. What do you think? It's skip to the white man? No. He said, you the more animal. That's why you you, you could jump higher, run faster. <laughs> your, your Johnson's bigger. You, your, your woman's head. Your uh, vagina uh, stick all out more. And she got better titties. Uh, What's her name? <laughs> Serena. Serena. And all them. And, and Michael Jordan. And all the rest of these motherfuckers. No, stop. We don't even got to go nowhere. We just keep bringing it right back up to modern day. Where's the ass out? Listen, if there's Europeans listening right now, they know what I'm saying there. That selective bullshit doesn't work in real life when we do it in the laboratory. Sure, this is how I know. Now watch. Because that shit is part of, that's how they got light and you was dark and you was by the sun and they wasn't by the sun and this, that, and the third. And I keep asking them, like I said to them then, and I'm saying it now, and they never answer you. They want to get at you until you get out of school, damn near, for asking them. So how come the Eskimos, they've been up there in Alaska and three months triple black like a motherfucker, yeah. dawn and three months, dusk three months, sun up high as hell for three months, and in that... They get, and their whole, what we see in a 24-hour period, it takes them 12 months to see. Mm. That's what happens, actually. So, I just want to know why, since they ain't been in the sun, and it's brick fucking cold, colder there than it is in Europe, this is looking whiter than sheep. Yeah. If your theory is, if that theory works, that they say, because you up north, hell, they ain't more up north than the Eskimo. Mm. How? That shit don't work. None of that shit's real. They just made that shit up to try to make themselves look good. And they went with they went with Darwin because it's a religion. It's new state religion. See, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When Greece was that. the king of Europe, they had the state religion, and the king was uh, Zeus. And then Rome took over, and this state religion used to be Jupiter. And then when, when that didn't work... And put people in, in, in check they went to the Christianity and they went that way and they just kept building and going on across so now they over here now they got a few different splinter groups coming off you got the yeah, Jehovah Witness and the Mormons and all them yo, jumped off that same thing. just to add on to what you just said cause you know when you think Still about what? it you go back to um, um, the Vatican mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. You go in there and they got the uh, statue of today. They will call uh, the statue St. Peter. The statue of St. Peter in uh, the Vatican is St. Peter's Square. Um, that's Jupiter. The, the ancient statue is actually Jupiter. You know, but well, they named Jude, it Peter. Jupiter, Baal, they and, all the and, same. And God, well, what I, what I was going to say was that all I thought about when you was talking was that you have you, even uh, even scientists that you name, you know Darwin. You've had several of them say that you know the color man and that the white race is only six thousand years old, and that they can only yeah, because they're trying to say they're more human. Mm. <laughs> That's what they're really doing with this, because you got to be before them, because you're closer to the animal. We all came from Earth, and we evolved into this new thing. They're saying you, the black one, then the brown ones came out of you, then the red ones came out of them, and the yellow ones came out of them, and then they came. That's why they'll give the yellow ones more props than they'll give you. See, they'll, get, they'll say to Chinese people, good culture, and this, that, and the third, and and the white and the Chinese people was getting attacked, and they put them now. They ain't even yellow no more. They Asian well, well, now. Well, like, like I, See, I, I got they this. They still one. making you a color black. I, I got, I got this one up on the on the screen. Now. I don't know if you can see this, Devon, but Charles Darwin said that uh, he had concluded without some without some form of selective breeding, such skin colors simply cannot be accounted for in a satisfactory manner. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's talking about his damn self. Right. Yeah. He said we have. Yeah. The, we have. The, we I have. The, he said we have thus far but that's baffled. That's not true. Huh? Well, you know why that ain't true? See, that shows you when they racist why they say racist shit. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna show you why you know that ain't true. Mm. I know some 
I know a grandmother and a grandfather that live in Jersey. They had 10 children. They had two sets of twins. One set was albino girls. The other set was not albino boys. And so they wasn't selective breeding or nothing. He got with her. She got with him. They had them babies. It is what it is. Right. So, and we see albinos all over the world come from us. And it ain't, we ain't trying to make them. It just comes. So, but you can't find no white people. I don't give a damn how much selective breeding they do or don't do or try to skip and jump. It. They'll never make a jet black baby. It will never, ever happen. Two pink nipples ain't making nothing but two pink nipples. <laughs> but two black ass nipples can make a brown, yellow. Look, look at me, dude. Do you see me? Uh, if you see my parents, you say, well, damn, they, he shouldn't be that yellow. See? So that show you right there. And, and, if, and when I go to the family union or we look back in the tree, as far as I can look back when I see everybody that I see, I don't see no Europeans there. So when they be trying, if you go all the way back to Kemet, I seen those pictures on the wall. All of them ain't triple darkness. And you can even tell which one of them European slaves. <laughs> what? Did I make this up? I didn't write that shit on the wall. And they made those colors. Remember they was trying to say that they was faded and this and that. But when you go there and you talk to those experts that deal with those type of uh, paintings and stuff, they say, nah, those are particular colors that they did. And the paint is so good, it didn't even change colors from that era to now. Right. 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 They, they can't, can't make no they good paint color. like that now. Yeah, they, can, they can't even mimic the color. No, no doubt. Absolutely. They can't even mimic that. And yeah. if they made it the right flesh color, because if you was up on it close, see, when you're looking at it on a picture, it looked like just brown. You get right on it, you'll see, damn, each one of those people's shapes in their faces and the, and the actual shade of their skin is not exactly the same. It's almost like real fucking people. Like, they did it real close. You could tell that the facial structures is like, that ain't just no one. They didn't use one model. They right. used the real people who, yeah. Yeah, they had but shades. But you, you don't get to... They actually had shades. Yeah. The different shades. Mm-hmm. They picked it in the artwork. And, and God, that's what I was going to say. What, what, what would you, and I see, I'm sure you could speak on to this point. But I always, I, I really like to understand it when, we, when I read, you know, and even going into certain lessons. Where we're talking about, you know, Yakub is not man, but man himself. You know what I mean? And just understanding. I know that lesson too. You know, and, and, and what what do you say to that point, God? I mean, Yakub was an idea. Remember, before Yakub was made manifest, it was knowledge born. Knowledge born was made manifest before he was physically born. Remember the thirty percent satisfied, no dissatisfied, and the seventy percent satisfied. He was born. They was predicted. Mm. Yeah, they already knew this was going to happen. That means that the conditions were already being set up for that to happen because of what was happening. So that, it shall be written. So that, it shall be done. I say that that that's why it was written that, that his uncle. That's why his uncle was able yes. to see him. And see this young yeah, man he already, knew the story. Yeah, he already knew the story And he saw that young man Living out what was already yeah. written in history Damn. And that's yeah, why he, you know, His name, his name could have been Michael You know his name could have been Michael And he looked at him and saw Michael you Yaku <laughs> You Yaku You know He knew who Yaku was When they saw him Right. And he proved himself to be Yaku <clears> Because <throat> You see what he did? And even if people say they can't prove it, that they don't believe it, it doesn't matter whether you do or you don't. Your belief is not believing it, or you can't prove it or don't prove it, don't change it being there. It just means you can't prove it and you don't know. It don't change the fact. 
see, you can't see somebody on Chicago, in the Chicago streets right now, doing a murder, and they can't use you for a witness because you didn't see it. You don't know what the fuck happened. Well, that's in everything. There's a lot of shit you don't know. And a lot of shit you can't prove yet. And then you're going to say that it ain't, you can't, no. Just because you can't find the proof, you think the proof don't exist. But maybe somebody found it and they didn't tell you. See, what about that one? See, you didn't think of that. Well, how about the devil found the proof of Yaku being found because of him? He knew about it in 1555 when he started doing that kind of activation. So if he hid whole giant cities just so you couldn't see a nose, Ooh. what would you think Damn. you really believe? That, that he would let you see a mm. uh, Yaku. He won't even let you see proof of a sphinx. He, he put a 21 gun shot cannon. Remember? <laughs> uh, Dr. Clark, no, Dr. Ivan Van Sertimer and, right. and, and, and the other guy, Diop, they, they did the proof and they persuaded the countries to release the noses so they could put it back on the the statutes and the Arabs because it ain't their ancestors either. They some fuck They uh that was a footnote. But they uh <laughs> after he went through the, after he went through all of that trouble to get England and them to release it, the Arabs because they don't want you to see that nose looking no African nose. They run at the same uh, semantic story, too. They all in on it. Mm. All of them are in on it. That's what we ain't get. They all in on it, and we the only ones don't know. They all in on it. So the Arabs wouldn't let them put the nose on it. He wouldn't, because that should, should have been up by now. Since Diop and them, Diop, I have answered them, and, and, uh, Okay, G up I don't that certain man. Who else? John. One of them other Egyptologies people. Right. They all showed and proved no, they were ambassador type people. Henry Clark and them. They owes it they wasn't just because remember they not really from this side. Uh Diop didn't even speak English. He spoke mm-hmm. French if I am mistaken. True indeed. True indeed. Right. So then and you're, they got a different, different. <coughs> it's different when they doing what they doing there than it is when we doing here. When they doing what they doing there, they mostly fighting academia. They fighting government, but more if they more if they're in a, a, a government position, then they fighting the monarch or the government in Europe. But usually, they're fighting academia. But when we doing the same thing here in the fifty states, you are straight up fighting city, state, or federal government. That's who you fight. See, because that's who comes for your throat or allows the other motherfuckers to come at you because there is no way that you, that your Contel Pro and you're not and your FBI, you know, that's government. How did you write the Constitution? You, that's smart people in the government. No. Yeah. The Arabs was castrating you. They was in, in on it and and they was in on it, and all the Europeans were in on it. Everybody was getting lamb wool. Lamb wool don't see this part. You think you ain't the uh? And this who you get the most resistance from about Yaku? It be lamb's wool giving. You said be who God? Know he was grafted. Yo God, I was, I was, I was, I was gonna say yo God, yo God, yo. For 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 the layman, because I know. Yo, the guys really go right here too. <laughs> but the layman just explain to them what lamb's wool is, God. They don't know what lamb's wool is. I God. thought every black person in America <laughs> knew what lamb's wool is. Now, God, I ain't gonna lie. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Now, guys, they they, they don't have a clue, God. <laughs> they don't have a clue, God. If they don't know directly, they know indirectly because all of their black women with lamb's wool out. You 85% of them is permanent here. So don't tell me they don't know they got lamb's wool. If they didn't have land, they don't call it straight. They know they ain't got that. So you tell me they don't know everybody on earth who got lamb wool, 
<laughs> and fronting like they ain't got it, you know they ain't got it. You got it. And they can act like, oh, I don't know what you that means. It. Oh, hey, so got it. Hey, son, you know what lamb wool is. I bet you when they get in that Bible, when they read about lamb wool, they be so happy. Today they don't say nothing, but they be feeling good to themselves. Uh, yeah, yeah, lamb wool. They know damn well what it means. They know they ain't got no straight shit, and they know this. They know that the devil says your nappy, kinky, lamb wool here, we don't like it, and it's bad. Mm-hmm. And our straight ain't got no protein here is good. <clears throat> and once they convinced us that theirs was good, <laughs> it automatically means ours is bad. But at the end of the day, black, if we use the color ratio so they'll understand what I'm talking about. Or fronting like they don't know, but here well, we go. Black, uh, brown, red, yellow, white. Okay? So, let's go back in reverse. White, straight here. Uh, what do we say? Black, brown, red. Yellow, yellow, straight here. Uh, brown, straight here. Uh, red, whatever they wanted to make it red, they, they got straight here too. At least you do on the TV. God knows what woolly, they had. Uh, the woolly head one. Well, uh, even as all well. them, it don't eat weight, but they they the only one that's a thumb. See, the other four are the fingers, and the lamb wool is the thumb. They know that. See, that's the key. You, and us, me, us, we are the only ones on the planet Earth with the lamb wool. Why do you think they can be ganging up on us? It's easy for them to pick us out, even. Even when you try to hide and get yellow, boy, you better get yellow and make sure that hair ain't got no roots ain't showing. Because hmm. it ain't, trust me, if I put that hair under a microscope and you've been amalgamated, even if you look just like them, you could be looking like you Puerto Rican or Italian or Sicilian. I put that fucking hair under a microscope and I know you ain't just painting it. And they know it too. And if I know it and I went to the school with them, hmm. they know it. Too. And they know that only they got pink nipples. And they know that if they <laughs> now to make with us, they got no more pink nipples. So they can say whatever they want to say. That's a fact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now you tell me that how that works. You know what? You know, that that right there, that made, that made me think about this movie that I saw not too long ago. It was called Passing. And um, how does a black woman... She was passing, and, like, she didn't want to be seen, you know, completely naked. She always wanted the lights out or whatever, whatever, you know, because she didn't, I guess, she didn't want her nipples to be seen. You know, oh, she shit. he knew she knew that once he seen that she didn't have pink nipples, it was a wrap. He was going to know. And see, most of our people don't even know that when they thought they was passing the brown bag test, the brown bag test for black people is your face. The brown bag test for white people is your nipples. <laughs> and they didn't goddamn get that part. Mm. See? They ain't getting it. If they knew that, see, if once we love our lamb's wool, our men don't got too much of a problem with their own lamb's wool. But they got a problem with their black woman's lamb's wool. Because if they didn't, she wouldn't be running around here trying to straighten it out because we wouldn't be paying no goddamn attention with that straight <laughs> shit. We'd be like, get the fuck out of here. But she knows that we go, ooh, I like your hair like that. And, I, and they putting them big ass eyelashes looking like Mrs. Piggy tripping me the fuck out. But I guess that's the <laughs> new look. I guess they look crazy to the other, the other people when they was in the 70s with the bell bottoms and all that uh, looked crazy to me too. I don't know, God. I, 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 think, I, think, I think a lot of men like. I think a lot of men like natural hair. However, they just they just don't have a choice, you know, because shit. That, that's that's what the women gravitate nah, to. Nah, if they got a choice to make them bitches go with being have a big ass, <laughs> then they, these bitches know that they need a big ass so big they'll go to Honolulu, Hawaii to get some ass. God damn it! Uh, you're, right, you're right about that. Travel. You're right about so, that, God. Yeah, like, yeah, they're right going about all the way to India to get Indian hair because these oh, niggas are telling them they like that Indian shit. You talking about knowledge yourself, people? About five percent of y'all ain't enough. The eighty-five, trust and believe. Those, especially them Christians. What? Are you? Better not come out here with that nappy shit, girl. 
You better do something with that. <laughs> Tell me what we say. I know what the fuck we say. I'm us. Uh, we don't cut no corners. We be chopping her ass up. Let her come out there with some natural. You see how they be looking at the ones that don't give a fuck and got knowledge itself and how they hear natural? You see what those niggas be acting? <laughs> if they get them an 85, if they get them an 85, he will try to make her perm that shit. Do something with that, ma. How you gonna get a job looking like that? He he frown up his face and shit. He, he, his mama got here like that. But he wanted a permit too. And so do his daddy. Mm -hmm. I see. What you, what you... What you about to say, guys? I'm here. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm over here smiling ear to ear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Yo, the guy hitting no on one. Yeah, I love the guy. Yeah, the guy can't. We under so it. much pressure, Lord. We <laughs> under so much pressure that even in the 5% nation, the earth be having permed here under that oh, uh, rap. Am I lying? <laughs> what? You don't think they under pressure to have their hair permed? Man, half of us, that's 5%. The why a woman got perm hair if we so into having it natural. Why you ain't telling her nothing, Ma? You ain't got to do that. I love it. This, I want it to be nappy as it could be like the lamb. No, we don't. Oh, Ma, you got to do something with this, especially that kitchen. <laughs> Fucking tell me. We just, shit, God. Our yeah. shit just is twisted. Yo, what? I, yo, I, God, yo I, I, I hear what you're saying on that end. However, on the other end, I, I, I done caused hell in my home because I was asking for natural hair. <laughs> oh, shit. You understand what I'm saying? No. At, 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 at one particular time, and you know. And you know why? You, you, they ain't what, you know why you was catching hell because it's natural? Because I just, they want the other shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How you going to Yeah, they going to come for your throat. That's like saying <laughs> we don't want no pork. <laughs> I don't want that white Jesus. I mean, there's a list of shit you can do to get your ass kicked the fuck out of the house. God, yo, I, 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 remember I had, I had a static about talking about, yo, yo, I want some non-fluoride toothpaste. Like, you know, damn, we can't even use regular mm -hmm. toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. Where's Bob? Listen. They don't want to take the devil off their planet, Lord. That's my word is born. They do not want to take the devil off their planet. And so when you it, when you take the devil off your planet, you do it in degrees. So when we first was doing it, of course, when we saw the uh, lesson and we thought that we misinterpreted that, I think we misinterpreted because of the information that we already had. We only had a certain amount of information at that age group. So when we saw the lesson and it was telling us, uh, well, it's easier if I just say it. When it was saying uncivilized people poison animal eaters, when we saw the part poison animal eaters, I don't, we just automatically went to the swine. But it didn't say poison swine eaters. It said poison animal eaters. Now, we, didn't, we only thought one animal was poison, right? But if we read Leviticus, we would have knew more than one animal was poison. It was so many of them poison for us to eat that they gave you a certain number to eat because they couldn't name all the ones that you shouldn't eat. But what we're going to do is we're going to tell you what you can eat mm. and what you can't eat by certain looks, like split hoof and chew a cud. If it don't have a split hoof, and chew a cud, you can't eat it. So that's mm. why a camel that chews a cud, you ain't supposed to eat it, but the Arabs eat some camel like it's all good. Mm, that's good. Mm. And the Christians will eat uh, some swine that has a split hook, but don't chew a cud. Mm, yum, 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 that's good. See? And, see, but this is what you will notice. Every religion, culture, creed, whatever the case may be, if they don't have a dietary law, they shit fall. Because that means they ain't got no dietary law. They don't got no law for nothing else. Need anything goes unless you get caught and it's against the king's rules or the society doesn't like it. But 
you can still do it if nobody see you. And you, because how would you have serial killers all over the place? But they got law against murder. Peace, peace. They God. make good books and God. write stories about serial peace. killers and Jesse James type niggas, and they like those kind of motherfuckers that peace. run up on a town and shoot everybody and take the money and the South will rise again. Peace, God. They make stories for the South will rise again. They <laughs> like. Well, then, why you think those stories ain't for the North to rise again? Peace, God. I... <laughs> 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 God, God. Peace, God. Peace, hey, God. The God wanted to add on to you what? real quick, God. <laughs> peace, God. Yo. Peace, God. Peace, peace. Yo, you know, peace. just, 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 you know, on the strength of, our, you know, our listeners, our viewers, you know, whatnot. I want to, uh, you know, switch it up a little right. bit, you know, and I got, I got a question for you, yeah. and, this, and this is also yeah. something that, you know, me personally also, you know, want to know and want to go on to a little bit, you know, today's mathematics being wisdom knowledge, you know, yeah. I, want, I, I want to hear you speak a little bit more about your foundation, you know, we want to hear about you, you know, so I want to ask you, you know, where did you get knowledge? Who well, did you, you get know knowledge why from, I don't, I don't even, you know why I don't really worry about talk about me as much as it doesn't need me because where I'm at is not what made us get the way the father got us all we're, that's we're, why I kind of like well, no, it's just another the, story about I, another person well, God, who's on the street and got well, God, okay I understand that but you know like you know nowadays you know we're in, we're in the tradition of making sure that you know we give our elders you know our, you know the flowers you know, we want to give flowers, you know, right now, right, right now, today, you know, and me, myself, you know, being, you know, I'm, I'm, I know, I'm a lover of history, you know, you know, you know, I love to study, you know, and, and, and I'm familiar with your works, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I've read some of the lessons that you've put out, some of the works, you know, saying some of the, some of the literature that you, you know, have and whatnot, and um, you know, I'm just interested to know, and I want the people to know. In regards to you know, just a little bit about the man behind the information. I think the guy and, and what he had asked right. God too was where you got, where did you, what was your foundation and where you got knowledge. In regards from. to yeah, you know who you got knowledge from, right? You yeah, know, that was and, the we, you know where you got knowledge. Right. Your, so, I don't think he heard your question. You know right. that, that, that that's a uh, thank you for coming through. That's a fun, that's a different story because I had no knowledge of self in different stages. Mm. Depends on you know, but as far as one hundred and twenty. <clears throat> level of it um because like i said my parents was hebrew and we wasn't i didn't come from a christian back okay so leviticus and deuteronomy was in the house i got that by osmosis you know not like i even knew where they got the information from it just didn't see it and we went to school in the temple so a lot of stuff that everybody else got programmed, and I didn't know about that. I didn't even know there was a white Jesus. I didn't even know it was a Jesus. Who the hell is that? That's how it came to me. So by the time I figured out what was going on, it was too late to indoctrinate me with that part. Mm-hmm. Yet, um, I still got exposed to 85-ism enough where I was subtly became an 85. So by the time I got to 120, shit, I needed that shit. It was either get this 120, under didn't know what else to do. He was like, dude, if you, I mean, you're going berserk. You either get this 120 or I don't know, I guess you'll be going up north or they'll kill you. One, probably you'll get killed because you won't let them take you. So that wasn't working. That wasn't going to work. So he said to me, quote, unquote, his name wasn't understanding then. He was Carter Mack. And he said, uh, yeah, go back home, find the guards, find the peace guards, and then when you get what you need, then you come back. All right. So I went home. First person I caught up with was uh, Prince Love, Universal Prince Love. And then building with him and the, and the disciples he had. He, had, he said he had too many disciples, so he put me on Born King. And then Born King gave me I himself, self a true reality, son of man, God. Uh, then he gave me to, he said, okay, 
now you got to go see Divine, African Divine. Everybody in Starry going to know who I'm talking about. So African Divine give me 90s and why the Lord is God. He's like, yeah, when you cook this, then you come back and see me. So he gave me that like 8 o'clock Friday night. She at 7 o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, they wanted us. <laughs> yeah, I went and found him. I knocked on his door. So he opened it. I quote degrees, the whole nine degrees. He said, damn, you quoting it already? I said, yeah, man, I ain't playing. What's good? So he was like, uh, I don't really got time like that. I'm going to take you to I. <laughs> 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 Even my God, you see what the product is. <laughs> nah, that's okay, peace. Okay, peace that's to up. God. Yeah, nah, that's peace. Yeah, once he took me to Mass Eye God, it was a wrap. Because Mass Eye yeah, God, this is good for him. Yeah, so, you know, Mass Eye God was like me. You know, he already had a lot of books, a lot of studies. He was already doing a lot of this and that anyway, so... Me and him became like a team, so it just helped us go to the next level. And, yeah, because he was already, he already had knowledge of self from our lesson. Not the way I had got it, osmosis, this, that, and the third, but he <clears> had one twenty since the seventies. By the time I'm seeing him, he already had it for 10 years. So he was with guards like a law, like a Gumar complete, um, uh, Messiah, mm -hmm. uh, firstborn prince. He was around them a lot because when he was taking me around them, when I look back at those days when he was bringing me over there with them and he knew them, and I didn't really know who they were then. I wish I would have knew who they were in the le in the in the in the in the hierarchy of how the nation worked then. But I was so new, I didn't really know what, I just knew he had high power lessons and we was learning it and this, that, and the third. I didn't really have the concept of that's Black Messiah, that's Firstborn Prince. I didn't know who they were like that. I didn't know, I never met, physically met, um, Gumar Complete. I never met him physically. Um, I only met a law foundation like maybe one or two times. And I didn't even know who he was when I met him. But these were the enlighteners of I God. You know, because our lessons come out of Messiah's lie. Messiah, Kasim, and uh, um, Kumar so Complete. Or, and, and I know um, Father Divine was around in those days, back in the days we knew him. But he was mostly running, you know, doing Nubia, the city of gold. Even in those days, I didn't know there was a difference between Starrett City and Nubia, the city of gold. I figured yeah. that whole area was Nubia. See, that show you where I didn't know certain things was. I didn't know. Nobody was saying nothing. I go, I didn't make a difference between the two. Mm. So I didn't see the difference. I didn't see the difference till years later. But since... We was back and forth. It wasn't no way you was in Starrett and you wasn't in Nubia. Like, really, we jumped off the 105 and come right through Nubia to get to Starrett. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even get home unless you did today's mathematics. Can you imagine this? Mm -hmm. To get to where I'm at with East New York, we had to go through the head of Medina, which was Fort Greene, so you had to know your math through there. Now you leave there, you get to the heart of Medina, and you, uh, uh, no street and all that, so you definitely got to know your man when you get there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? If you, I, if you stay through the head, you that hard. Mm. So we had to know our lessons extra good because we in East. We all the way in there flat, but we got to go through two major players to get to where we at. And to even get where we at, we didn't start it. We still had to get through Nubia. <laughs> Mm. That's why we knew our math like we knew it. You had to know. We already knew that this is what you're going through. So everybody in Star it that's going to be in this and wear flags and everybody going to know you in this because don't think it was a secret agent motherfucker that didn't let you know they uh -huh. studying. Because they didn't want nobody running up on them. It wasn't like it is now. Mm -hmm. You get ran up on 
you could get ran up on and they could say where are you at in the lesson and depending on how long you've been in and if it correlates with how long you've been in with what you know, you good. But say you said you knew 120, but you thought you knew 120, but you didn't know 120. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all laughing because y'all know where it can go, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was. Now, I, yeah, you, nah, you better, you come out better knowing your lessons than even trying to act like you want to fight. Because even if your hands was good, you'd be, Everyone, dude, <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you're fighting because you're right and exact. Then you're not. Then a lot of them ain't gonna help get in, or you're not gonna have the same challenge if you fighting and you right and exact. Mm -hmm. But if you fighting and you not right and exact, and you trying to be strong but wrong, you ain't gonna get out of that one. That's when I seen universal beat down. And you seen people get a universal beatdown because the guards is real. Um, what would I say they are when they come to the lessons? Um, uh, they're not as fanatic as people would think. If you just got to give, don't be lying. If, even if you said, I know 120, and then you had a degree and you don't know, you're like, damn, I thought I knew it all, but I guess I don't know that one. I need to study it again. They don't go with that. But if you be trying to act like, well, the lessons say one having knowledge, wisdom, understanding, culture, and finally is not a savage in the pursuit of happiness. Say you said it, not a savage in the pursuit of justification. They'll be like, what? what? <laughs> nah. And then you'd be like, well, that's how I see it. Bow! <laughs> <laughs> see? It, it, you're trying to be belligerent. <laughs> so if 12 of us know that it ain't that, <laughs> no, no, no. It ain't. <laughs> this ain't like we arguing over he got power, he got refinement. We already know some of us ain't got it, some of us got it and all that. No, but that war won't get you punched in the face if you say you got refinement and they say they got power and you got justice in yours. That won't get you punched in the face. But this will get you punched in the face. How you see Dave Mathematics? Oh, I see the Dave Mathematics knowledge build this story. You go through the whole thing. They let you go through the whole thing and they say, you know, Dave Mathematics ain't knowledge build that damn cycle. And you start trying to act like it is, but it's really wisdom knowledge. It really is wisdom knowledge. <laughs> and somehow you think it's knowledge, Bill. Yeah, you can get you back up now. Let me show you the calendar, boy, because you were getting a little belligerent. That's how I was back then. It ain't so like that now. Now you can get away with talking shit. They might not even do nothing. Uh, it depends on where you're at. Well, no, it, it always depends on where you at, but most of the time when they belligerent and pop and shit, they on a keyboard. Oh, so yeah. you can't get them. Because I was about to say, certain places, even D Mecca and, no, you it, know. The Lord, the same, even the um, old God is punching I know, face. I know, even I in seen, Power Born, he I heard seen, Truth Known, yeah. even up there where you at, Mecca, Medina, and anywhere you No, I'm saying, I saw Freedom punch Al Jamar in the face over something at the. See? I'm keeping it fucking real. Punch it right in his face. <laughs> oh, but I don't know exactly what it was over. It was something to do with the front door and this, that, and the third. I'm just showing you that it could get volatile. <laughs> <laughs> don't think that it, Now, Freedom ain't even here no more. But he knows that happened. They even gave him a little exile because they said you shouldn't have did that and this, that, and the third. But you know it's Freedom and so. That's how we was, G. We would square up in a minute back in the days. It's just that we got old now, and you can't just be doing that. These old guys, you can't be hitting them like that, and they're going to fall down and shit. <laughs> <laughs> when we were young, G, when we were young, we would go for it real quick. Like, anything could go off right quick. Like, you need, right. they ain't trying to kill you, but them hands will be done. You could get punched in your face. Now, they ain't trying to kill you, but you're going to feel they. Mm. And, and you needed to have hands. So you couldn't just have mine. You need to have hands too. It's nicer now, way nicer. Damn. I was at the end of the niceness. No, I was at the end of the hardness. Cause that eighties era, by the time it hit nineties, it got nicer by by nineteen ninety eight when it came on. The hardest I seen something go down was when I seen the guard get punched in the face. 
mean, and I wasn't really there when I saw him get punched, and he was already in the dirt in the, and on the ground. And I mean, there. God, I, I would, I would just say, you know, I mean, again, I just think it's where you at. You know, I got knowledge. I came to the knowledge probably I would say cipher born, and I done seen quite a few things. <laughs> I done seen a few brothers. <laughs> no, but in that you age know, group, you wouldn't. You know, getting the get. I'm saying in my age group, we we supposed to stop that by now. No, no, we, we we thought we had stopped it, but you didn't. We didn't. No, go ahead and say some crazy shit and let these old motherfuckers hear you say they'll go back to that old shit for ten minutes because they still that really. But I'm just saying the younger people, I expect that because. Y'all are young and volatile. You you got different. It's just different. You where you say you was born in the in the in the nineties? God damn, you good. You were supposed to look. Let me show you something. Say you and the rest of them nineties boys is out there fighting, and me and the guard and our group is out there fighting. What you think they going? <laughs> They'll be okay with y'all over there. But when they see me and him and our group, they gonna say, "Well, what they doing?" Uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Y'all should be way more on right. another level than right. that. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, that just don't look right. That's I'm 20 and I'm fighting. Yeah, okay. You 50 and you you 40 now. Even in you in you once you get past your 30s, that shit it could be over now. Okay. Yeah. That's done because now you understand that if you punch him too hard, he fall down and die. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's how you get fucked. <laughs> and if y'all both fighting, if y'all both fighting and the white man run up on you, you gonna arrest both you mom. Right. <laughs> you gonna fuck your shit up. <laughs> he gonna try to say some shit like, um, Stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> you be saying yourself. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Motherfucker, you shoot me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I be trying to tell motherfuckers when they're getting crazy. I say, listen, black man, listen to me. I know you probably could win or I could win. Ain't nobody having it. Nothing ain't going down. But when the police run up on her, they're going to say, oh, we going to shoot these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and we going to get away with it. We going to say, they attacked us. And if both of us dead, what can we say back? Nothing. So motherfuckers start thinking, yeah, you, you right, OG. Yeah, believe it. We know how these motherfuckers are, ain't don't we? Now, if you really wanted to fight, we go somewhere where nobody's around. Just me and you, no cameras, no nothing, and we're straighten it like men. But anything else is 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 a chance of us getting shot by a white man. He want to shoot us, and he would love it if you hurt me bad enough where I'm dead. Then he could, I'm dead, and you go into jail. He ain't got two birds with one stone. Hopefully, you two motherfuckers are young enough. Y'all didn't make no children. <laughs> right, right. No, you ain't lying, God. But yes, God, listen. Um, I, I I know I know like you said I don't, I don't want to keep you too long, um, cause we, we 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 you know we usually try to keep this thing rocking for an hour man we get on like the hour and thirty minute mark man God I appreciate you so much man God giving us some time uh, and sharing so much wisdom and knowledge wisdom and understand and understanding with us man you really been kicking it God I appreciate it man. Um, man I could stand on backs of some bad motherfuckers that's where I got <laughs> this. Right here. Word. If I ain't had it, I, I wouldn't have knew this. They gave me such a leap in time. It just put me in another zone. I was like, oh, I got to use this. I got to use this. They gave me like a 20-year leap in time. The way I God gave me the lessons, it was like a 20-year leap. So what most people had to wait 20 years, he gave, gave it to me in two days. Mm. From then, I just studied, of course. But yeah. He didn't hold back. He gave me everything. That's why you see the way I give it up. I give it up that way because that's the way I received it. I didn't get it piecemeal and he give me a piece and you a 10% in me. You know? I don't want you to be holding to me. You, know? uh-uh. you don't even got to know me. You just got to know and understand this and you got to have good credentials to say, yeah, we vouch for him. I better know these people. Right? So, because I gave lessons to people that were family members, and then they didn't use them right. They misused them, and my name was 
people could look at the lessons and tell where you got those ones. Oh, them is divine lessons. Mm -hmm. You got them from divine? No. Divine gave them to some idiot, and that idiot gave them to this fool. And now my name all in the mud. I got to send people to go get my shit. Under in them, I got to send two guard and them niggas is not playing <laughs> to come get them. Because you can't be doing that. And you're going to make me look bad, and I ain't trying to look bad. So we're going to straighten this out. That's how we used to do it. I done it before I'm really different and I don't do it the same way. I made a mistake, I ain't gonna make the same error again. You ain't getting me twice. I've been fucked any way you could think of in doing this and studying real estate and all of that. So you can't get me no more. I got con I got contingency plans set up. This is Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> No, no doubt. Like that. We, you see, they can't get the father right. Don't every time they try to get us, we stop them. Flatter us. Uh, the, 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 what's his name? We try to come with the, the dark matter. All of them. I don't care which one they came. He needs to go all the way back. All the way back to Muslim. It is what it is. No, no doubt, God. And, you know, that's that's why I think that's why this type of platform and what we do is important, God, because we're able to, you know, nip a lot of the BS in the bud, man. You know, I, I feel like social media and just the internet, the internet in general, you know, has become part of the front line, you know what I'm saying, in terms of teaching, in terms of, you know, a uh, the social presence, so to speak. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I feel like when, I, when we study the history and just what y'all was dealing with, a lot, a big part of it was social presence. You know what I mean? Like you said, y'all being mm -hmm. able to go put it down on the street. Yo, man, you represent me. You know, we go, we dealing with it like this. You know, the the the, the presence, guys. So, um, I think even with with this is making sure that we in the we need in these spaces, God. And with that, what do you say to somebody who is interested in our culture, who's looking to come into this knowledge? What advice would you give them? Wow. Definitely need a good enlightenment. Somebody you can <laughs> walk with and they're going to be. Yeah, you're going to need a. F See, enlightenment is not. It's almost like the Jedi, the student. Y'all be friends. Y'all become. Me and I go out with homies and friends and buddies and everything. It's, it's definitely for those three and a half years we was together. Cause I gotta learn this, and he wants to give it to me, and you become close that way. So no matter, even to this day, it'll a few days will go by. One of us gonna call, like you good, or something. Like dog, why you ain't saying nothing? That's how it is, and that's how it stays. So unless you're enlightened left physically, you know that happens too. It's just that my enlightenment's still here. Like be like oh. Can you bring your tree back? Shoot, I go get my tree. He right there in Medina still. Not far from where his mother lived right down. Same here. Everybody in the same, pretty much the same hood. I'm the one move. <laughs> so I would say get you a good enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And you'll be like, you know, I mean, I don't know nobody else to use, but I see you like, hey, it. it's got a good enlightenment. I ain't say I'm the best in this nation and this teaching and everything, but I pretty much know, I know it. I know what's going on. My enlightenment put me on. I got the lessons. If I show you what I got, they can't, you can't say it ain't the lesson. It's the real lesson from us. That's all you really need is make sure you got our stuff from us and it's us giving it to you and us teaching it to you. You'll be all right. If, after this enlightenment gets you to a certain point, then you, another enlightenment will come Absolutely. and appear and show you the next level. True indeed, true indeed, God. And that, and even and even that's my point. And even to that, uh, I think somebody just commented that. I mean, to your to your point, it's like this, our goal um, with this, it, we 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 not here to you know make any virtual connections. Our goal is to to connect with these people in these social spaces, and then link those people to gods and earth in the physical. You know what I mean? And connect those people right with the gods and earth on the ground, right in the space, um, so that you can walk and talk and get the knowledge right from them. You know what I mean? Our right, we always say that, yes. right? Yes, God, absolutely. Yes, I know. Because even if I was here and somebody went to my channel and they was like, L, Vine, this, that, and the third, I'm trying to this, that, and the third, 
I'd be like, well, where are you at? Right. Then when I find out where you at, okay, give me your information and where you at. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to talk to my connect, my connects and they, somebody that I know is going to know who's down there or wherever you at. And if there's no one, then I try to hold you down until we get you someone. If we might not know them yet, but they might appear. I don't know. I hold you down, or somebody holds you down until I try to hold my book down until they get somebody that's in enlightenment right there with them. Mm. You know, because sometimes they somewhere in bumfuck Egypt. They ain't nobody for a thousand miles, and they just broke to get to them. Mm-hmm. It happened. I ain't going to let nobody not be knowledge of self because they broke. <sighs> I was broke before. I can see that. No, I, 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 and I see anything you want to add on that to that to that same point, God. Well, no, no, I mean that's what it's all about, right there. Like you say, just because somebody don't got the means, don't mean that they they can't get the knowledge. You know, the best thing, the, the, what, what this costs is the amount of attention you got to pay. You know, as long as you could pay attention and you willing to get the knowledge and do the knowledge, then this, this is here for you. I mean. That's one of the main reasons of the platform that we have, the five percent connection, you know, to bring about that type of connection, you know, and and strive, like you say, to get boots on the ground wherever individuals at to get them knowledge, you know, closest to wherever they at. Mhm. True sure indeed, God. So with that, God, listen, man, we about to get ready to get up out of here. Um, it's been a really, really, really dope podcast, man. I appreciate you, God. Yo, you know I love y'all. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know me and you go, we go back. So yeah, go. yeah, yeah, God, and, I, and it's and it's always appreciated. We had a three way. What is is we hit every ten. We hit the ten year thing, like every ten. We hit every decade for the uh for the less. Mm. Well, you were a couple of decades way under, but pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like so far removed it. And we need like two more people like right there we're in between right. you and him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we can get the generation going all the way down, you know. But right. It's still good that he's that far down. And look, he put together this thing and man, that's the real shit. Like, Yo, that's I, know they, the, oh, I thought yeah, y'all went that. away. Well, we obviously not. And this guy, when what year was you? What, the 90s? Yeah, born knowledge. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. I'm Yo, I, I remember I remember when the guy had first came with the idea of, you know, getting on this social media thing and I was I was behind him hundred percent from the first time he said it and I knew I'm like, yo, the God is the one with the energy to make this happen. You know. Yeah, and sure. at, at the time a lot of individuals didn't see it, but I knew it. I'm like, yo, I think that you know what I'm saying we need to put everything we got behind the God and, you know, get on it. And that was way early on, you know. And you know, we you know, we just not getting on getting on to it, you know, on some uh, real consistency and you know, we'll just keep it going, you know. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, God. I definitely appreciate it, man. So listen, man, God, the divine, it, it, it's been uh, an absolute pleasure, God, having you with us, man, on, on the God on Earth Hour podcast, man. Uh, we damn near ticking on the two hour mark, man. So I don't want to keep you all night, God. I know, like you said, you got to hop on up um, for that uh, Just Cypher Born, man. Listen, I appreciate everybody out there who been tuning yeah, peace, in peace with to us, everybody. man. Uh, to it's, been, it's, been, it's been absolutely dope, man. If you're interested in connecting with our culture, man, or getting the knowledge, make sure that you go to the 5percentconnection.com and click the, ink, the link. Enter your information, man, and get it in there, man, and we're going to do everything that we can to get you connected to the gods and the earth wherever you're located at. Uh, you also can check out our merch, man, at the knowledgeofselfstore.com. <laughs> Uh, make sure that you subscribe or follow the channel, man, so you can get tuned in for all of the podcasts, man. Every Tuesday, every Friday, uh, we do our live streams, man, on Facebook, YouTube, and uh, Instagram, sometimes TikTok, man. So think, make sure y'all tune in with us, man. I see anything you want to lead, lead the people with? I just want to say peace and blessings to everybody, you know. We appreciate you, you know. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting, you know. 
you know, keep coming back, keep coming through, and, you know, give us, you, you know, your advice where you think you want us to go and some other topics that you uh, may want to hear. And, um, you know, give us your feedback, come with the questions and all that, you know. And, we, you know, I appreciate you. We appreciate you. And keep coming through with the support. You know, peace. Peace, God. God, anything you want to add on a uh, 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 closing, man, and leave out with? How he crossed the Allah see crossed. I know that's right. Hey. Man. Peace, God. Peace, so God. we we gonna leave y'all, man, in the same beautiful greeting that we meet, that we meet, that we met y'all, and that's peace. Peace, peace everybody. We'll see y'all peace. on Tuesday, man. Peace. peace. I go around here through me to get to my father of all, but he and I are one the same. Now you see what must be love before you can be a universe architect. <laughs> Universal justice. Balance scale, divine right to judgment. Now I beat a black man time. Fuck if you trust this, you're gonna feel the positive vibe. Oh, we gon' bust quick. How do you feel if he has lies? Young black people need to learn who you are and understand why you're light skinned, brown, and dark. And always know where the sun get the heat to stay hot. Stand firm in your square and you never will stop. Rock out with your cock out and never drop out. You be the man.